Hopefully everything's working. Let me unmute that. Let me transition this over. Hello! Welcome back to Wild Realms here on Planet Zoo. I'm just furiously swiping through all my tabs, making sure I've got the right screens up. There we go. Awesome! Welcome back to Wild Realms here on Planet Zoo. I am, of course, M4J. And tonight, we are continuing where we left off last week. This is the zoo from above. It is looking freaking cool, if I do say so myself. You can really see, uh, see, you can really see how it's starting to take shape. So we've got the cheetahs over here um, with their new habitat down here, the new shelter, and then the extended um, enclosure over here. Then we've got the plains of Africa, which is this big one here, which goes all the way down the hill now to here, where it will be masked by a building of some kind. I might have a little viewing platform here, um, where people can come and actually look at the animals. We've also got the Gemsbok, which is in this deserty area here. The meerkats slash aardvarks, which might end up getting split. We might just have this be meerkats, uh, and aardvarks will go elsewhere. The elephants, which is over here. <clears throat> I think the elephants came before the meerkats, actually, but never mind. Hippos and flamingos are down here. I do just want to see. So we've got five flamingos. First of all, we'll turn that off. Uh, hippos, we've got three. I feel like we can get another hippo in at some point. These two are infertile, though, so... Um, Manifa down here. I don't know how she's going to breed, but I'm sure they'll find a way. Life finds a way, as they say in Jurassic Park. Available food as well. They need food. Uh, let's get that going. Keep her assigned. There we go. And then uh, we've got the penguins over here. The lions are up here. And then the lemurs, which is what we were working on last week. Before I show you the lemurs, though, I did make a quick addition over here to the cheetahs. This before was um, just glass, whereas now it's concrete with glass embedded into it. The reason I've done that is so that it's one-way glass. You can see into the enclosure, but if you're a cheetah, you can't see out. I think that's something I'm going to start doing elsewhere. So over here with the lions, for example, I might do a similar thing, just so they don't feel like they're being watched. Uh, also, notice how I just went straight through the roof there as well. That's awesome. Brain Cells, good evening. I hope you're doing well tonight. Good to see you back again. What was I going to check in here? I can't actually remember. There's nothing really important going on with the lions right now, though. They're just being lions. Uh, what have we got? Oh, hello. That one's having a squat. We'll ignore that. So I think this enclosure here, we have 10 lions, of which some are fighting. And over here, we have three. So I might take some from here and move them over if necessary. Might be some females that will move across to the other part of the uh, the lion area. We'll see about that. But yeah, the lemurs. This is where we're working this week. So um, last week we redid Lima Island. We extended it. We made it bigger. We made it nicer. We made it better. This week we're doing something similar except we're building a new island. So we need to keep the game paused for this because we're going to be... Uh, extracting out more terrain that this lake here is part of. Uh, so the first island I think is just going to be this area here. And then there'll be one over this way-ish. The safari ride, I have no idea how this is going to traverse all of this yet. We'll come up with a solution for that. But we are going to temporarily be closing the safari ride here. Just whilst we, um, whilst we work on these islands. So when they come out of the elephants here... All of that will be removed. There we go. Right, I am waiting for a, um, a sound check at some point to make sure that I can actually be seen and heard. Also, my IFTTT hasn't gone off yet, which is a bit concerning. Should I restart the server because it's the year 2248 and people seem to spend less time on the server? I think if, if you've got a server that's struggling, you should ask people. Because I've seen your posts on Reddit, and I don't think there's anything wrong with those especially. But uh, from memory, you kind of said there's a server, but at no point have you said what the server is. Like what you're trying to achieve with it. Just invited people to join a server, and I think that does put people off. So maybe just um, 
you know, put a message out asking what kind of things people want to see on a server and then set up a server based on that. And if it doesn't work, take the hit, move on, try again. You know, there's there's only so much you can do to uh, to to convince people to join you on whatever it is you're doing. I mean, I've been doing this channel for what nine years this year, and um, I'm nowhere near where I wanted it to be. Sometimes you just got to take the L. This is what it is. All right, this here is going to be island number two then, and this one, I think, is going to be the big one. Uh, this one here, I think, is going to be gorillas. And then we'll move on and and um, and add some more after. I'm trying to think of a way to make this look quite natural. I think something like this. Now I I don't know where the viewing area for this is going to be at all. So I don't know how well this is going to work. Uh, we'll smooth this out in a little bit. Thank you, Laura. There's the little sound check. My little assistant there coming to the rescue as usual. Alright. Just dig this out here as well. Lovely stuff. Now it needs to be, I think it's six meters wide to stop the gorillas from escaping. So already, I think this is going to be fine. Once we've smoothed it out though, it might need a little bit of expanding. But yeah, this is all going to be one big island. And how I'm going to do the viewing. So yeah, I don't know because I wanted it to be just a null barrier that goes all the way around. But I do need somewhere where um, staff are going to come in. And I think that would be an area to build a viewing platform as well and have it all be part of the same sort of thing. So let's go smooth. We'll increase this up to like 10. So we get this nice and smooth. I'm also going to be placing water down uh, every time we build an island as well just to check that everything there is, is working fine too. There you go. We'll just push all this. Like so. Like so. There we go. And there we go. Uh, I'm going to stop saying there we go as well because that's, that's not how I like to speak. Um, I think it's a pretty big island. Is it as big as Lima Island? That's the big question. It actually seems to be, yeah. So we should be able to get a fair number of gorillas. If this isn't big enough, then we'll make this the like Mandrill Island or something and we'll move the gorillas somewhere else. I think that might be a better way of doing it. I don't know. Right now, my focus is on making this the Gorilla Island. But, you know, obviously we'll have to see how well that works out. Okie dokie. I think that's fine. Uh, well, also, you can see this is a little bit higher up right now. Um, but again, I'm fine with that. Let's get the water back in. We'll do it based on this island. I think there. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, barriers. So I think I can select like this and go plus. Whoops. Didn't quite mean to do it like that. There we go. And then from here, we can go around like this. Just hoping this water is is wide enough. It should be deep enough. It's just whether or not it's wide enough. And if it isn't deep enough, then we can always just dig out a deeper channel around here. That's no problem. Uh, something else I need to remember is I did say 
But I was going to build a um, safari station around here as well for the safari jeeps. If the game lets me do that, of course. There we go. So that's the null barrier. However, um, somewhere, and I'm thinking it's going to be on this side. But again, it depends where the next island's going to go. Because we need... So I think there'll be a little island down here. <laughs> Already I'm looking at this like, is this going to work? I think a safari station here would look cool. And then the path can come round and then the ride will go alongside it there. And we'll have some kind of barrier there so you won't be able to see out of the zoo. Um, I mean, the other islands could be round here, I suppose. Because the, the African-Asian border is, is where the railway comes out, which is over here. So we have got all this space around here that we can fill still. So it's not, you know, game over or anything. Uh, this could work. Also, this pathway here is going to form some kind of walkway through the gorillas, around the gorillas, over the gorillas. I don't know yet. And I feel like this, like, plateau here needs to be taken up with something. This could be a viewing platform, actually. Actually, this, this would be perfect for that. If I was to smooth all this as well, which I thought I'd done, but apparently I haven't. Uh, let's remove the water again temporarily. There we are. Now we'll smooth all this down. I don't know why the smooth tool doesn't work as well as I'd like it to. I'm sure I'm missing something. But yeah, I'm going to go with a very similar technique to what I've used for the lemurs which is to have the staff gate be on this side and then build a bridge across and then where people look in will be part of the enclosure barrier and then I don't have to build this like elaborate um, pathway to get staff in and out I can literally just you know um, well hopefully have it all contained from one area that's the plan. I was thinking of building a restaurant or something around here as well. One thing I do need to build is another veterinary centre. Because right now we've got uh, problems with the vets. This also will fix this now. While I'm here. Uh, yeah, vets are queuing to use the vet centre. Which is not good. Anyone can tell you that's not good. Doesn't have to be an expert. Right, so this section here... From the water, actually, if I do it. What am I going to have? Concrete? Could do. Undulating. Or flat top. Flat top could work. Undulating could also work. Or flat top and editable bottom. No, flat top. Yeah, flat top. That's what I think would work best here. We can go something like this. And then around like this. Like so. And then here it will plunge back into the water. And I think I will connect it. I don't know, actually. Maybe if I do this and then we go back to null. And that will be where it connects in like that. I think that works. Uh, also, I've messed this up again because... Uh, also, this side, I think I'm going to make it go into the water more gradually as well. So, you want to go like this. There we are. And then null. And connect it like so. Cool. Now we're going to select these pieces because we need to lift them up. So all but the end ones. So that one there and then this one here. And then we should be able to just go. Three meters should be enough. That should be more than enough. Although one thing I haven't checked was how smooth was this. 
I think the answer is not very. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. It's all right. We we don't panic here. We don't panic. We fix things. That's what we do. That's what I do best. I fix things. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Delete. Sweet. Right. Try that again. There we are. Now that's nice and flat. This bit here, I don't mind it being a steep drop. That's also fine. Uh, and we know where we're building these walls now because the barrier is set up for us. Like the posts are still in situ. I will leave a little area actually, thinking about it. So I'll do it like this. This bit here can be nice and straight. There we are. Connect that piece up and then all of this we will elevate to three meters. That's pretty decent. So I think the staff gate is going to go this side. Too uneven for placement. See, that's rubbish. That's just rubbish. Oh. Nope. There. But it won't let me do it here. Oh, I don't know why I just clicked that like that. Okay, we'll have another crack at it. Stop being awkward. No, you're being awkward again, game. Stop being awkward. There we go. And then this side. Same. Hmm. See, I thought I'd flattened all this to a good height. Maybe it needs more space on the inside. See, to me, that looks... To me, that looks fine. I don't know why that would be difficult. Don't know. No, I don't. Not a clue. We'll smooth it out in case that was part of the problem as well. Personally, I think that's fine. I can't see anything wrong with that. It's all smooth. It's all perfectly flat as well, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I can always jazz that up after. The island as well is perfectly flat pretty much right now as well, which I'm also not a huge fan of. But again, we can fix that in post, as they say. See, that's too... I feel like that's too far away for them to be able to see the animals properly. Even with the pathway over the top, which we are going to have, we'll find a way to get a pathway over the top of all this. Let's do that. There we go. So now this can go like there. And then from here, we can build... Oh, one other thing. So this is Gorilla Island, which we could name now, I think. There we go. And it's how big? 7,208. You need 780 for one. So you live in three males, three to six females. So that's nine. Again, this is huge. Like, this doesn't need to be this big. This could be half this size. Which is telling me that I can make this half this size. So I think here, we could actually like cut all of that off. I'm really tempted to go with that. Let's make this a little bit smaller again. So if I went straight along here, 
Yes, it includes the water, which we're not... Um, like, obviously, the gorillas won't live in the water. But I reckon we could do this. And then here's your next island. Now, I did say that the gorilla island would be the one surrounded by all the others. But I don't think that's going to be possible now. Unless we make this mandrills or something. But I kind of like the idea of this being gorillas now. Because we've set it up for that. And even here, I, I can just take some artistic license. and like It's a bit too uniform right now. So I feel like we need to kind of shake it up a bit. There we go. And then, I don't know, do a little in-cut like that. That looks pretty good. I think that looks pretty good. And then we'll take... Where's the barrier gone? Can't find the barrier. Um, from here, round to like all the way over there. Remove all of that. You are now null, and you're going to come across like this. Evening, Tom. How you doing? You've seen the news about Matt Target, I assume. First Newcastle signing. Nice stuff. Okay, I think that is pretty good going. Uh, how big is it? Target acquired. <laughs> yeah. How long have you been waiting to do that? So it's 6,000 now, which is still far bigger than it needs to be, but that is better. So I'll I'll accept that. You know, I'll say that's fine. We can now bring some of this terrain back in. Like this. Okay. Cool. We'll stick the uh, the water back in. I think it can actually be higher than that, but oh, maybe not. That might be the limit. Hang on. Okay, that was the limit. Cool. Select the gorillas again. We've given them like a bigger, like a taller island as well, which I think is cool. Terrain. So we've got water area of 1,757. Average water depth. I unpause for a second. Is that going to update? What was that noise? Did an animal escape? We've got a lot of problems with the lemurs right now. It has something to do with... Yeah, infections. Oh yeah, so the vets. I need to get the vet back. And, like, well, I need a new vet, basically. New vet's office. Which we could build as part of this new area here. Yeah, average water depth is not giving me a number for that, which is a little concerning. But everything else seems to be fine here. Uh, I am going to set, so the mechanic is going to come every month. And the keeper is already every month, so that's fine. Gorilla Island is set up. We're going to set up this here as well this barrier to be uh, it's going to have glass windows in it one way windows which I think all seem to be facing the right way yep that's so that you know gorillas don't like direct eye contact with humans so that's part of that problem solved if I build this from here should be able to follow this around. There. And then here it will break off. Possibly over to another island. I don't know yet. This here will be the staff connection. Which we will put in like that. And then this here 
we'll head over to the main pathway over this way. Come on, let me do this. There we go. And then maybe here I'll add in a uh, another bit, but not right now. Sweet. So I think uh, a new vet's office could potentially go in this new square here that we've got. So let's go facilities. Staff facilities. I want a vet. Veterinary surgery. There we go. And we'll spin you round. So I think this is the right way. But I kind of want you... I mean, that could work. Path does get a little close, but I believe... Yeah, you can actually see inside. So it becomes an attraction on its own. Uh, ignore the jeeps, they're not functional. And I kind of like the way the path sort of clips past it there as well. That's kind of neat. Yeah, alright then. So Land of the Apes is going to be its own work zone. So to have all this here is, is actually... I'm a okay with that. Um, I'm also really tempted to extend the... The lake size here so that this pathway physically borders the edge of it so I'm gonna do that as well if it lets me of course there we are we'll uh, we'll smooth it all out in a bit I think this will look very lovely indeed Yeah, the barrier there is a bit of a problem, but we can smooth all that out. There we go. Smooth, smooth, smooth. It's my favourite tool. Just makes everything look tidy again. After I kind of come in and rough it up. There we go. Ooh, no, that roughing up is going to be done in a second. Over on the old Gorilla Island. So I have, I have no idea what kind of things gorillas need yet. We're going to find that out in a second. Uh, this here, I got a little too excited. There we are. Obviously, we'll have some kind of fence and some kind of foliage along here as well. How's that looking? It's, yeah, yeah. Oh, completely forgot to mention. So yeah, uh, yesterday I believe there was like a teaser stream for the new Planet Zoo DLC. And today it was announced as the conservation pack. So uh, end of the month, I believe it is, the new conservation pack will be released. And there's a couple of species there that are related. There's at least one species that's related to um, the African theme that we've got going on here in this first part of the zoo. So I'll be picking that up. Uh, I think it's pretty decently priced for what it is so we're we'll trying to pick that up at least and then um, we will be adding that to the zoo I'll try to remember what the African animal is I thought it was the oryx but I think that's actually Asian I believe so it's not the oryx but yeah we'll uh, we'll sort that out when it gets released we'll find out right theme African there we go so we're actually going to... Actually, do you know what? I'm pretty sure I could just copy and paste this. Duplicate the entire thing. And then maybe just tweak it slightly. It doesn't actually need to be as wide, which is slightly concerning. <laughs> I thought it would need to be as wide. So maybe this island does need a little bit more widening done to it. Yeah, maybe just on this bit even, I'll uh, I'll make it a little bit wide. Um, I'll make the water wider, the land smaller. I don't even think I need to to use flatten to foundation. I can just push it here. There we go, and then that kind of works. Smush it up a little bit. Yeah. I 
think. I think that looks alright. I think that works as a concept. We'll have to check if staff and, and um, animals can actually traverse this. But I think as a concept, this does work. Nice. So we'll have to put the water back in again. There we are. Hopefully everything over here is as it was before. Cool. Alrighty. So now, terrain. This. And I want to roughen it all up. This whole island is going to get roughened up a little bit. And then with the rough comes the smooth. This is just to add a bit of like... bit of variety to the whole place, you know? There we go. So this should be traversable by animals and staff. Fingers crossed on that one. If it isn't, you know, we, we can push and adjust as necessary to get it to work. I think the uh, the gorilla's hidey hole is going to be in the center of the island. We can have like a little hut I was actually going to look this up before the stream, but I kind of lost track of time today and didn't have a chance to. I was going to have a look and see if there was um, uh, like a temple design that I could copy. But I don't think... I mean, I could check. I'll check. Instead of guessing, I will check. Let's use Twitch. African temples. They do exist. So I was going, oh, I mean, obviously you've got Egyptian temples. But I want something. Oh, here we go. No, Angkor Wat isn't African. That's Cambodia, isn't it? Uh So hang on, the gorillas are native to West Africa. Western lowland gorilla. Angola, Cameroon, Central African Republic, Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. It's tropical. So if I do like West African Temple. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that I could potentially use here. So I might have to get creative with rocks again. Which isn't ideal. If anyone wants to do some research for me, that would be appreciated. We'll go with African jungle for a second. I just want to get an idea as to what this might look like. Yeah, Tarzan isn't real, Google. Let's not go with that. Ah, there you go. There's a gorilla in the wild. Okay. So this is its going to be like covered. This island is going to be absolutely covered with stuff. So let's, let's, let's plan out. This area here is going to be where the gorilla lives. Like where the actual shelters are. I think we said there were going to be nine gorillas here. But I'll... I'll create a thing for maybe like 12 just in case. So let's flatten this out. Because again, trying to keep things a little bit simple with this at least. Uh, and the reason I'm building it in the center is that path from the Lima is going to come straight across the middle of this as well. So you won't be able to see into all of where the gorillas sleep. Maybe some of it, but not all of it. Um, but we're going to try and make it look like a temple or some kind of stone building. Um, with viewing platforms that look down into the majority of it. And we'll use um, maybe one-way glass, he says. Out of hope more than anything. That's probably not going to be possible, actually. Without ruining the, the vibe that we've got here. 
So if I look at construction, we'll remove what we've already got here. So if I go like, I mean, brand, no, not brand. Um, temple. What have we got? So it just says temple here. It doesn't specify like what continent this could be from. So we could still go with that as a possible um, that's an Indian temple. Indian nature. South American. South American. South American. South American. Actually, yeah, this could be something we go with. This could be something we go with. But now let's look at the habitat. Species. So it's what? West. Western lowland gorilla. There we are. Now, food and water. So, some of this will be over on this side of the island. Right. We'll do it like that, and then we'll have another one. This side, and then uh, some kind of water trough. this. Bear in mind that once we've placed all the uh, the foliage, a lot of this is going to be sort of covered up and stuff anyway. Uh, so then, yeah, this will all slope down naturally. We'll have entrances either side of this building so that they can get in and out. In terms of uh, heaters and stuff, we'll come back to that. Enrichment. Now they, yeah, they want like big climbing frames. Oh, that, that could look good. If I was to place this in the right spot, maybe over this side, we could integrate that into the building. That would be cool. Some of this stuff looks perfect for like tigers and stuff as well. Hmm. I like this one, number six. I think this works perfectly. With, um, with what we're trying to achieve here. But we'll do some digging out. So you can imagine if I place maybe it there like that. Actually, it didn't really work on this side. If I place it more I don't really know what is that floating, that one? Or is it just where it overhangs? Oh, it's just a shadow. I think it's just casting a shadow. So this would work well. Like this. And then if I grab... That rock, remove. That one, remove. That one. That one. Like that. That there is an entrance way into their shelter I would say and then so the pathway from the Lima is going to continue this way and it's going to come across here so if we have it on some kind of bridge structure which could be integrated into all of this as well that would be cool Okay, so we've got construction set up. I want to go with... Remove that for a second. I want to put metal walls in first. So again, it's interesting this isn't part of the grid right now. Like it is, but it also isn't. I guess that's fine. Uh, we'll place the floor down first. Which is what this one. Get it as close in as possible. There we go. So this here. Like that. 
This is actually going to be an exit to the uh, to the shelter as well, I think. I think that would look really cool, personally. We'll fix the terrain around it in a second. But I like the look of this. We will build under here. We probably will put some walls under there as well. But for the most part, I think... I don't think we need to, necessarily. Uh, and then this bit here will be the exit. So if I now go... Arches... Corrugated wall arch, spin you round. You're going to sit there. This rock here is going to move slightly so that it doesn't quite block. There we are. And this one is also going to move slightly. Actually, if I... Select that one, and that one, and that one. Oh, there's a lot here. I guess that one too. Although that one actually should be fine. There we go. So now the gorillas should be able to get in and out of here without issue. One thing I do take issue to still is these two things. But we can move those up and out of the way. that. Hopefully staff can get in there as well, but if not, we can just terraform it until they can. Just lift these up a little bit higher. Okay. So yeah, this will be an exit to the um, to the shelter. There will be another access point, maybe from here. I'll build another ramp up so they can get up that way. And then just have gorillas sit at the top. I assume... They can climb that. I don't actually know. Oh, my phone's been tap dancing on my desk for the last few minutes. Uh, yeah, I think this is all fine. So now for this. What am I doing with this? I want to duplicate. I guess we'll just do it like that for now. So it's going to be kind of box shaped, but then most temples are kind of box shaped. At least the ones I'm thinking of. This could be a horrendous lack of research on my part, of course. Uh, also, so what I've built here, we're going to put an inner skin, and then we're going to put an outer skin. And the outer skin is going to be... Um, it's interesting that it won't let me... I was going to say, what's the point of having... Is it because it's snapped to positions on or something? Oh, auto stacking's on. So if I turn that off... There we go. Uh, so the inner skin's going to be made of metal walls. And the outer skin will be made of... Um, you know, non-facade walls, basically. So I think if I place it like this... Hopefully, I've done my maths correct here. It's reasonably correct. I think that works. And then uh, one of these here will be the exit on this side. Which I think is going to go there. And because of that, I am going to redo this one quickly. So we're going to pull it back. Is that facing the right way? No. So I think... Where was it before? <laughs> Lost it now. I think it was there. No, it was there. So we're going to move it back one. Yeah, and then we'll fill this gap with rocks. So you can see you can't technically see all the way through. I think that's fine as well. Hopefully. Going back to the wall pieces here. Spin you round. That kind of works as well. Uh, 
See, I think, I don't know if I want this bit actually to be indoors. I might do it like this. And from here. Like, I might still go from there and then turn it around. And then we'll find some way of making this bit work. Doesn't help that I can't actually see what I'm doing here. Or here. I think it's there. One sec. So if I do that, hold control. One, two, three. No, I have no idea. I'm going to assume it's there. Because that does line it up with this piece. I can't see. That. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to guess that's fine. Right, spin you round. One piece there. And again, that's technically done. But I'm going to place that piece in anyway, just in case. Okay, gorilla enclosure, like shelter complete. This piece here can probably move back one. Which is similar to what we've done kind of on this. Oh, no, actually, no, that one does stick out slightly. So do you know what? It's fine. Gives us room to work with. Okay, get rid of that. Temple. So we've got like this as a temple wall. Now, one thing I didn't plan for was the fact that if I was to place you there, it's the fact that that doesn't line up. It'll have to go like that, which it could do. And then we could just put a corner piece of some kind in to fill the gap. Or, you know, a support beam. I think that's the right size. It is. It is. Like, that's the right size. Okay. Yeah, no, we can go with that. We can go with that. Also, can you recolor these? You cannot. They look a bit too light for my liking. But there's no alternatives. So I suppose we'll have to like jazz it up ourselves. Also, it's a bit too perfect. Like there's no broken bits or anything like that. I suppose that's what this is for. But the scale's off. I don't know if I like this. I kind of feel like I'm going to have to stick with it for now. And see what it looks like when it's actually finished. So again, it needs to be one away. And it'll go there. This side's going to be hidden by rocks anyway, so that's fine. Uh, likewise, if we go there. And then this side, I don't know quite how this is going to work. I mean, that does work. And even that bit does work. It doesn't, like, ruin anything. So I guess we'll just do that. If I switch auto stacking on now, it does know to stack to that one. So that's cool. Let's go with the props. So even that kind of knows. That doesn't look like it works, though. It's Port Beam's rubble. Let's go with that on top. Oh, no, that's... Yeah. Doesn't work at all. It's fine. We'll come back to that. Come back to that. Let's focus on the important bits first. Focus on the important bits. So if I did that, and then stuck 
this one on top. I mean, it does work. The only thing is, we need to make it the right height still. Let's just come out of this for a second. We're going to call this like Gorilla Temple. So the floor's in place. That's fine. The bit I need to work on now. Oh, that's not even. That's nowhere near in the right place. That's woefully bad. Uh, we need to get this Lima path, Lima Island path here across. So from here, we need to go around the tree, first and foremost. And then we're going to kind of come across in this direction, but we do need to elevate. Because we can't have the gorillas come into contact with the guests, because it'll just be carnage. Let's turn off curved slopes for a second. That, that's too high, I would say. I think it has to be like this height. And then here, we can come across like this. And then go straight through the gorilla enclosure like that. But we'll come back to that in a second. Before we do that bit, let's have a quick look at... Connecting that up. There we are. Remove. Uh, didn't quite work how I wanted it to. There you go. That looks better. Yeah, just something to kind of turn it into a little plaza again. Nice. This bridge will do something too as well to kind of make it work. I don't know what. Um, right, back to this. Gorilla Temple. Get rid of that. Go to the wall pieces again. So, here. I need to turn this down to one again. So, we're going to have one there. One there. Then I think we're going to have a gap. And then it's going to be one, one, one. And then it's going to look like that. And then that's kind of going to cut across... I guess like this for now. Sweet. And then that goes there. That piece goes there. That piece goes there. And then you get the idea. Here, I might actually have it come out there. Just so we can get that extra bit in. Uh, so, you know, the path doesn't interfere with, um, with the ramp on the outside. I don't know what's going on with this. Is that the right place? That looks like the right place. Yeah, it is. Cool. We'll build it to there. And then here it needs to be... There. And I think at this point it's going to have the roof placed on it. And that should be a complete building. Obviously, we need the pillars around it still. Yeah. And we'll need something to cover up these gaps. I think this could work. We could even have another climbing frame indoors for the gorillas to play on. In which case, let's say we removed... Actually, maybe not that piece. Maybe this piece. And grabbed this uh, let's remove that that and that and duplicate advanced move so this building might have to be a little bit taller still this works. Uh, 
And then from here. Where are we at? There. And then all these metal walls. At least around this bit. Could be brought up another level. Again, sorry guys, I'm really struggling to see because I've got the light shining off my screen. Craning my neck in all sorts of weird angles. And there, there, and there. Yep. Yeah. Duplicate. And you're going to sit on top. Uh... Like that. I think for this, I'm going to turn off auto stacking. Yeah, that works. Okay. Okay, yeah, that looks cool. This bit here. So, what's, what is this? It's just a climbable platform, which is what this is as well. So let's say I grab these two. And we did something like this. And moved it down. Yeah. Like so. And then these two. We move down. Yeah. And then uh, this one, let's take it and we'll duplicate it and we'll spin it round. Yeah, okay, that's not quite what I had in mind. Angle snap. Actually, what? I oh, know. No way. I could do it the way I wanted. So for this, I'm just going to select this one. Duplicate an advanced move. Bring you across like that. We'll do this. We'll slide you into position. Is something like this, I believe. Yeah, tiny bit of a gap, but that's fine. And then we'll put another one. So their climbing frame is like indoors and outdoors, which I think is great. They got all this space that they can play around in. I love it. There you are. And then the final piece. There's a question. Where would I put that? This is all sort of up against the wallish right now. To be honest, I'm almost tempted to get rid of this bit. Kind of feels it all feels a bit uniform still right now. Hmm. What do you guys think? Do you think my other idea is to get rid of that and then to select all of this and to do this. There. And then the final piece will be this one again. But over here. It just sticks out like that. And then we move it across. Like so. I kind of like that. It gives them multiple levels that they can play around on. If they so wish. Uh, not that one, sorry. That one. And not 
that one. No. Really? How do I deselect this one? <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Whatever. Duplicate advanced move. So here, yeah, and then we're going to sink you down. Actually, no, no. Let's go to that one. So I think the way this is going to work is you're going to move across to here and down slightly there, and then we're going to duplicate advanced move you and you're going to do this then we're going to grab these again where this one's going to go yet I don't know right bring it to here move it across to here, bring it down to here. This might be another little elevated bed for them here as well. And that one I might actually leave as it is. And again, put something on top of it. It's not a bad idea. Um, this then, and this... I'm going to assume they'll be able to fit in. Uh, can I rotate it? No. See, actually, I don't know if if that is a good idea. Oh, well, I've done it now. Press confirm without realizing. This bit here, I don't know if this would work. But if I was to select these again and do move... Now this, I think, would work. Is there only one way to find out on that one? Okay, I think I'm done messing around with um, with platforms and stuff for a second. Now, oh, that would have been perfect if it was just a fraction lower. So this would be a good place to build a viewing gallery. So let's grab these, advanced move. Just down a little bit. We'll, we'll use grid mode to build this one. There you go. And you can say that's what those things are holding up. So let's exit that a second. So here we want to come up to... I want to say here. Like that, and then if I go align to grid, like that. Uh, but I also want to align to grid here to get out of there, and there to get out of there. Now, is there a way to to square off these edges? I don't know. Cool if there was, but I really don't know. But yeah, this is how uh, this is how people will view the gorillas. If necessary, we will take off this extra bit here and just have it as like. A, actually, I'm almost tempted to do that now and have it just be like um, I don't know a capsule shape, whatever you want to call that. That's not a bad a bad move to be honest. Alright, let's try and get a roof on this. Smaller grid. Auto stacking on. There we are. Come back for that last cat bit in a second. 
So this bit here I would like to... Oh, there you go. It does work. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. This bit here won't be capped, obviously. And this section here won't be capped, or will it? It could be. Like, that would work. But it also seems pointless to have half of this cut off. Mm. We'll do it like that. Again, we'll make it kind of uniform for this bit. But then we'll add extra to it to kind of make it stand out a bit more. Let's remove that for a second as well. Right, before I go any further, I do need to put the rest of this bedding in place. So we want beds and shelters, bedding. I mean, it's quite big as well, but yeah. Uh, bedding, so I kind of want large leaves. We've got position snap turned off, so I can just go ahead and place these wherever I think they would work best. We'll have one in each corner here is like a hidey way. So what's that? One, two, three, four, five is that? But I'm actually going to take out... Those two there is fine. We'll have one here still. That's... a oh, random rotation. Hang on. We do want random rotation switched on. So this one, I want... Like that, that's fine. And then this one, because that's facing the right way anyway. You, I want in here. Like that. And then I suppose we could go to straw. Oh, I actually do want um, this one back. And we'll put uh, one of these up there. Although again, I kind of want it this way around. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I like that. So what's that? That's one, two... Can't count. One, two, three, four. I think we've got. And if I was to extend these out... Again... I mean, I could turn off random rotation or I could just do it like this. This is fine. Uh, we'll put some more straw ones here. There we are. And that kind of fits in with the pillars that we've already got as well. So I don't need to do much with that. So that's one, two... Three, four, five, six. So I still need a couple more. Uh, seven. And then we'll just put some like massive ones at the bottom here. Eight. Nine. Kind of do it like that. In terms of food, I do want some down here, but I don't know where I'm going to put it. I suppose we could put a small feeding platform. If I was to remove this again. A small feeding platform. There we go. Uh, a small feeding platform sort of over on this side out of the way ish. Yeah. Oh, path supports here I'm going to turn off in a second as well because that will be annoying. Uh, water. We do need a water bowl in here too. Again, if I could put one down like that, that would work. Yeah. Cool. Right, yeah, back to the path above here. How do you turn? Oh, square edges. It's right there. There we are. It was right there the whole time. 
That makes me want to go back and redo some of the other ones that don't have square edges, actually, because that would be awesome. And also, make sure... Actually, turn that back on. Uh, path supports is turned off. There. Nice. So it looks like it's floating for the most part right now, but we will fix that too. I am starting to like this. I feel like it needs more still. For a start, uh, I want to get rid of all of this extra grass that's just sticking through the floor here. I don't know if rock is the best way of doing this, but it, it'll do it for now. Can always come back and paint it whatever else it needs to be when it needs to be that whatever else it needs to be. There. Okay. What does this look like from a distance right now? It doesn't look too bad. We will continue this climbing frame around the outside of the building here as well. Like I've said with other projects in the past. Um, if I build this out this way... That gives us the height that we need to be at as well. Now, does that slope up to come down again? Yes, it does. So that tells me that this can be less steep. Hmm. That looks cool. This area here we can always drop down a little bit. Because right now the gorillas can reach the path here, which is not good. And now they can't. Perfect. Yeah. There we are. Okay. The gorilla should be able to get under that, hopefully. Okay. Where were we? Finishing off this building. So we'll stick a roof on it. Uh, in terms of all roofs, is that literally all we've got for... Um, and even then it says floor. It doesn't say roof. Hmm. I guess it's all we've got. Bit of an overhang? If it lets me do it. Turn off auto stacking again. I think this. Why is this thing with the grid height? I don't know why it's doing that. go. That should stop any... Uh... I mean, the climbing frame could continue on the roof actually, so that provides a fairly stable platform for them to do that. Yeah, right now it, it kind of ends here. With no overhang. I'm not a huge fan of, but I don't really know. If I was to build this with an overhang, and then maybe grab this. Oh, these are small pieces anyway, so that one there, I could actually just delete. Done. From here, they could probably get onto the roof here anyway. So, this could work. So, I don't think you can see that from inside. Oh, you can actually. Ha. Hang on then. So, I think um, these pieces here can be removed. 
That piece can be removed. That can be removed. Now, there is a metal wall here which needs to be duplicated. To what there? And then there. We need to put the rest of the metal wall in. You can come back and do that. Still need to put something in these gaps. But uh, priority right now. Grab you. Wait, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Grab you. Grab you. Grab you. And grab you. So we need to move these out slightly. To there. Perfect. And then oh, that piece just does go straight down to the ground. So that's fine. This one here. I'm going to do the same thing. There you go. Nice. Now, if I was to copy these... Let's do... Something like this. Snap to the world axes, please. Let's do something like this for a second. And then this one and this one, hopefully, I can rotate these up. Oops. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, turn off angle snap. There we go. Yeah, hopefully this works. This bit that kind of works I think I'm hoping a gorilla can actually traverse this might be a bit too I mean I suppose worst case scenario if I move it out like this and then just add a third one like duplicate this one it's less of an overhang here as well so that that'll work and then from here, should be able to get this back down to ground level. Like that, and like that, and like that that does work that does work yeah we can give that a bash uh, we need to grab this too I would like to see some gorillas in here soon but we'll uh, we'll come to that in a second there we are Okay, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to bump up the terrain a little bit here. No, not one. I don't know, four. There we go, just to make it meet. Staff, I'm hoping, can get in here. Because this, this will be such a cool building if it works. And if gorillas can get under this bit as well, of course. If not, then... I don't know what we could do with that, to be honest. Um, and I'm also hoping gorillas can't jump because they will land on this and this won't be good. Again, not entirely sure on that one. Right. Again, we'll come back to the outside in a second. Let's get the rest of this metal wall in. I think it's the right colour, make it black. Here we are. Uh, that needs to be that. That needs to be that. Turn off auto stacking. We actually have that piece in the wrong place. This one here is actually in the wrong spot.
There you go. Now it's in the right spot. Uh, duplicate. There we go. And then you there. And there. And there. You get the idea. I don't need to do a running commentary on all of this. I really hope this works. I'm trying to put so much effort into actually theming this one, you know? Trying to make it look run down and old and like somewhere where gorillas have been living. You can imagine some kind of civilization was here and then it either died out or it moved on. And it, it got returned to nature and the gorillas sort of moved in and just took it over, basically. That's what I'm trying to do. But whether or not that's what it looks like, I don't know. I will say I've seen some people on Reddit building sort of temples for, uh, for their animals. And I think it does look really cool. It's certainly something I wanted to try out myself. There we go. Okay. The roof, I'm just going to leave as is. But the walls now are all done. Tick those off. So now we just got to fill these corners, which I'm tempted to do still with, um, with like, rock work and things like that. That would be a good way of doing it. Also, this path needs to have its supports removed as well. Okay. Uh, go out of this again. Type in temple. What have we got? So we've got like ruined staircases. Ruined walls and windows, which we could just stick on like that. You know, if we did a line to surface. Oh, no. Never mind. We don't do a line to surface. Turn off angle snap as well. So these corner ruins can actually fill this. Or just corner pieces in general if we had them. Something tells me we don't, which is kind of annoying. Why would there be ruined corner pieces but not actual corner pieces, you know? What is the point of that? I think this could go there with this one on top. Nice. And then the window piece, I don't know. We put another ruined wall piece there. Maybe the window one could go on top. Like that. And then another... I feel like this area here is just a bit empty, but I don't know what to fill it with. As for the wall pieces, I reckon we could get away with that one there. Okay, if I could flip it, that would look cool. Or we just use the columns. That's a possibility too. Uh, would that go there? See, the bricks don't line up at that point. I think that one as well doesn't quite line up properly. But if I was to move this one down a little bit. Like that. And then this one should be able to go on top. If I moved it this way. I think that's the same height which is nice. And then this area here, we could probably just put rock work in and that would fill that gap. I'm starting to like this a little bit more. This side here, we we can just put rock work on. Likewise on this side here. And then this side here, I mean, it's in the shadow right now, so you can't really see much anyway. And that literally did nothing. But we can also put rock work here because we've got, you know, gorillas walking in and out anyway, so... 
can I do something with this? Yes, is the answer to that. Maybe even with these ones. Eh, yeah, we could do that. Same on this side. Sure. Alright. That works. And then nature. If we go with continent Africa... And then biome tropical? Yeah. And then foliage type. I mean, that's irrelevant at this point, I would say. So what type of rock is this? That's temperate rock. Which does work. I think we kind of need a mix of everything. So yeah, some of these gaps, not all of them, but some of these gaps here could be filled in with um, with rock work. Definitely the corners. Definitely the corners. So this bit here, random rotation as well. go and then I don't know how that would there maybe and then up here <laughs> doesn't quite fit how I wanted it to oh that works yeah and then I don't know maybe a 12 on top you kind of want the big ones at the bottom though don't you like that so maybe like a uh, a 16 or something or a 15 and that fills the gap it does fill the gap there you go maybe it's just a bit of cladding fill some of this as well. I don't want to use the cladding though. I think the cladding looks a little ugly. How the hell? There must be a smaller one. There's a 16. Foliage. That's all I can say for that bit. Foliage. Can I use cladding for this one? I could put some there. that and then I don't know like a 16 or a 15 or 14 on top here turn off a line to surface for a second there we are mm, that's a bit too much of an overhang for my liking There we go. Okay, let's go with that. It's a bit random to just have this one sort of corner right now. But, I mean, if we put that there as well. Right, foliage. I want uh, definitely some of these. So that looks like an aligned to surface thing for me. Let's go for just plants. <clears throat> and I do want things that can hang off the side of this building. There must be something bigger than that, surely. We've got these. But even then, I'm thinking there must be something else. Oh, that's a big one. That's a good one. Uh, what if I add temperate to this too? Yeah, we've got some more things. We've got ivy. Blue lotus. Again, let's go for like the wall hangers. We've got ivy patches. Which 
Just look a little too clean for my liking. We've got vines, which look great if we hang them across gaps like that. Right, let's stick one of these in first. Actually, no. Let's stick an ivy in. Oh, God, I didn't even see this huge gap we left here. Stick an ivy in first, and then we'll put one of these roots on top. Where's the ivy gone? There. Ivy patch. So that'll go there. And then we'll have another one, definitely. You know, one, oops, one there, and one like that. Already, I think I've like placed some of these wrong. It's fine. I'm just, I'll fix it some other time. Getting to that point now where I'm just, I don't want to move the animals in, you know. It's one of these. Across the top of that one. Yeah. And then another one sort of down here. Like that. Now this side. Again, this wall is far too clean. So we need to, to dirty it up a little bit. I don't, don't just want to stick ivy everywhere though. There's bits of ivy like this too, but hmm. There must be where it's, I mean, bracken. Bracken on the side. I mean, that could work. It's a bit too big. We could just go with a big one like this. And then stick some... Uh... We've got ivy spread here too. Or vertical ivy, which would be good for sort of this area. No, random rotation messing me up a little bit. Let's just turn that off for a second. Uh, is Ivy spread? Which could go. See, that one might have worked better over there. We could put it sort of here. Sure. Where's the bracken gone? Nettles, I don't think, works. That almost works. But again, you don't, you don't want anything with a trunk. Ooh, so that'd be good for actually on the ground. Where's the ivy gone? Uh, not ivy, bracken. That's what I'm looking for. So I think small bracken bits... One there, and then like a slightly bigger one underneath, like that. Big one ish again. Like one there would be cool, I think. It kind of does grow off it a little bit, but then you can come in and do this which I think I'm going to do over here as well because it will stick out and we should have enough space between the two walls that you wouldn't notice this one does it need it a little bit just a tiny bit there we go I'm wondering, this pathway is technically part of the walk through Lima bit, so I hope it realises that we're actually in a different enclosure at this point. Otherwise, that's not going to work as intended. Uh, we need to go back down. That's tiny compared to what I wanted. We've got like a really long one. It's a long, thin one, which could go there. As long as it doesn't look sort of too uniform. And then another big one of these. Or this. No. 
The two meter ones are just really small. And that one could work. Yeah. And then something like that one. With a little bit of ivy on the top. Ivy technically grows down, uh, upwards, sorry, but I'm going to have it look like it's, oh, I don't know, guys. I'm actually really stuck with what to do with this. I mean, how's this looking? I just feel like it needs more, but I don't know what more is in this instance. I also need to add in these pillars. Otherwise, it's going to look really stupid. I think the pillars are going to have to go like this. Yeah. And then we'll duplicate advanced move. Like that. And then another one. Yeah. Like that. I think that works. Actually, it kind of tips away slightly, but I don't mind that. I think I did a line to surface when I placed that one, which wasn't the best idea, but it... it oh yeah, I did do a line to surface. <laughs> oh well, it's fine. And then this one. Uh, that wasn't the right thing. That's the right thing. Lift it up. Again. So yeah, this side right now is just clean as a whistle, but I also don't have anyone coming this way yet, so we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, I suppose. This the more I look at this, the more I think it doesn't look too bad, but it definitely needs something. You know? And it's not gonna be that. I'm not quite skilled enough yet to know what looks good when turned sideways on a building. Like an IV thing here would look cool too. We can combine different elements. So if I was to place this more here. Uh, or place one across the top. I mean, that would look all right. Kind of layer it like that. It's not the worst. Kind of neglected underneath here as well. So I'll put another sort of big ivy patch. Underneath, ooh, on the wall, please, preferably. And then a couple of other bits, like one there. And one there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't just want to spam it, but I also want to spam it, you know? Like that. A little bit there. Okay. It's not the worst thing I've ever built. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. This here looks really boring on top. I need to add something to this too. Bear in mind that I want the gorillas to be able to climb on this. So, um, could go with like stairs. And see if that does anything. I don't know how you can attach these to a grid. Doesn't look like you can. So I need to kind of line them up and then move them into position. 
I'm trying to avoid making them look like a pyramid, but I think it's going to end up looking like a pyramid in all honesty. If I was to do that, definitely turn off random rotation here. Where are my corners gone? Do we not have corners for these? I guess we didn't have corners for these. So you are going to go... Uh, I guess like that. And then another set of like proper stairs. Sure. Like this. And then... Um, Like that. You're going to go over here. And again, we're going to have to put like ivy and stuff all over this. This probably doesn't look anything like what I was aiming for. Oh well, we'll stick with it for now. I'm sure it can be rescued another time. Support beam rubble. Uh, random rotation would have been cool here too. There we are. And then you could imagine... This one would have been around here-ish, but it would also had that, that, and I don't know, something else around it. Again, there's there's rubble for the corner, but there's no other rubble. So what what would this have looked like? That's the big question. When it existed. That's not the button I wanted to press. When this existed, what would it have looked like? Let's go with that as a design for now. Okay. And then this middle section, maybe just a generic floor. I think it'll fit. Yeah. Not the most exciting, I know, but it is what it is. And a gap in the middle. That's actually not looking too bad. That could have been a lot worse. And again, we'll sort of fill with gaps with bracken. There we go. That's that one over here in the corner. Put another little bit. Uh, something else. <laughs> Anything else. Nettles. Definitely. That's not nettles. Where have the nettles gone? There. Now, whether gorillas are going to walk around this bit or not, I no idea. Probably not. But we'll make it look as though they can anyway. For no reason whatsoever. Well, that's a good one. That's an 8 meter one. That would be perfect for up top here. Yeah, nature's taking over. And then this one could be like a four meter. I could get it in that gap. That's pretty good. And then is there a two meter one? There is. Have that there. Again, I think that 
just about is on the right side of spamming it. Uh, actual trees and rocks and stuff we'll place down if we have time in a bit. There's no way you could have roots growing out of this, is there? I doubt it. Bam, ba -da -ba -bam. Dog rose bush. Too many roots. Just go with bracken again, I suppose. Tried and tested. Maybe something here. Is there any ivy, perhaps, that we could put down? Also, I've been asking where things are this whole time. It's alphabetical order. I'm just an idiot. There we go. And then up on the top bit here, we could go with... at all yeah something like that and then I don't know nettles as well we could put some on top like that and again I've completely neglected this side of the building but no one's gonna see it so what difference does it make I wonder where you are yeah perfect and then some bracken this bit actually I might leave, also this bit here, because uh, they need to get on it, if they are coming on it, so it would have to be there. Okay, let's say this building for now is done. This side here as well we need to come back to. I'm almost tempted now to say let's actually get some animals in, and see what else we can do. So we need to give them enrichment and, and stuff like that still anyway. Also, I need to do a little bit of terraforming on this side. Just to carve a path here for the... Uh, well, the path to come through. It's going to be like this. It's basically going to be in a straight line across here. Let's go like that. This is looking good, actually. All of this is looking pretty decent. And then paths, I need to turn off. Path supports again, and then I just need to do that. This side, I think, is fine. Okay, let's have a look then. So we've got a new vet there. Let's look at actually bringing some gorillas in and seeing how happy they are. The trade center is all the way over here, so that will get moved eventually. Animal storage, animal market. So we need gorilla. And I get, I was about to say, I guess we're going to get all the ones here, but we're definitely going to get, is that Bajide? And we're going to get Delani. And if I refresh the list, so these are all costing money now. Eben's not the worst. I've already forgotten my ratio. So it's two females, one male. And possibly Jahim, although your longevity isn't great. I might just start with these three. We'll bring them in. We'll unpause the game. I'm going to do a quick save as well, actually. So today is the 8th. There we go. Save zoo. Cool. So we've got no enrichment in here right now. And also this part here could probably do with... Oh, one other thing I haven't checked. Um... So you've got your climbing requirement. So grade three, climb proof, five meters. So this needs to be taller. Yeah, and six meters wide, two meters deep. 
which I don't think this is, actually. We might be in trouble here <laughs> when these arrive. But yeah, this barrier here needs to be five meters. Not the current three. Come on, work your... No, 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 no. Come on, yeah, there, perfect. And then all the way over here, select you as well. Nice. Now we should be able... Oh. Now we can lift you up. You need to be five meters tall. Which is very tall. There. Okay. It still looks fine. We could put ivy and stuff on this as well. And style it in. That's very much doable. This bit here isn't the prettiest, but again, we can live with that. Star for having to queue to use the facility. Yeah, I think it's because... Um, oh, they are coming over here now. Never mind. So if I scooch in here quickly, what have we got? It's a lima. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so we got a lot of sick lemurs right now. Which is part of our problem. I think these are all going to the vet center, are they not? Oh no, our first gorilla is about to arrive. Uh, also, crap, an animal's escaped. How have you escaped? Oh. Okay, yeah. Ah. Uh... Yeah. I haven't thought this through much, have I? I have not thought this through. I might have to disconnect some stuff <laughs> temporarily. Okay, let's just... As a temporary thing, we'll sever that. Okay. I think... Is that the only one that's escaped? You as well? How have you escaped? What are you, a penguin? Where are you? How the hell did you get on... Oh, I know what's happened with you. You swam through the... That's a known bug, I believe. It's fine. We'll turn that off. Right. Unpause. Head back over here, because our first gorilla is about to arrive. My god, you're huge. That box was big. I can't see very well. Hopefully you guys can see, because I can't. There's a silverback, though. Look at that. Right. H. Traversable area. Can you get everywhere? Yes. And you can get on the roof. Look at that. Sweet. And you can climb up and down this bit. You can get on that rock as well, which is nice. It looks as though you can get underneath the pathway here, which is also nice. And you can't get on this. Or maybe you can. Maybe you can, and it just looks like you can't because the um, bedding is there. I oh, know, maybe not. Okay, hang on. Let's leave you selected for a second. He says, immediately deselecting the gorilla. So I reckon if I shift all of this down a little bit. Now I reckon you might be able to fit on here. Uh, where have you gone? Why are you in the... W oh, you're the lemur. Yeah, I know what you are. Also, you're just stood on the bridge. You can get in here. And you can get in here. Oh, they can get on there now, look. Sweet! Okay. Uh, so yeah, one more thing then. I want to remove this post... Definitely want to remove this one. Or maybe move one of the rocks. Like, move this rock out of the way. Like so. Where's the gorilla gone? There you are. Oh, edit. Exit this. Select the gorilla. Yeah, you've got a much better route into there now. And you can technically get round that one. But it's still a bit... Of a tight fit. <clears throat> Select the smaller gorilla. Similar problem. 
but again not as bad uh, I will check now as well your needs terrain wise so you definitely need less long grass more short grass uh, let's turn the heat map off for a second you could also do with more soil What about rock? You do you don't mind rock. So we could give you rock too. Uh let's just continue this painting. So we need so we're we're on the realm of short grass now. But I'm gonna do a little bit more. So we've got too much short grass now, but we're gonna bring in some uh some sort oh you I think that one's sick already, so it's being taken away. Bring in some soil. Around this area. And also around this area. So if it's low down, I think we'll have soil. Yep, and then this bit here will be rock. Like so, and anywhere where there's a steep-ish incline, we'll put rock smooth and rough. A little bit there. Uh, definitely some here as well. Climbing out of the water, certain aspects of that. This bit here especially. That's going to be... Um, Rough rock. All around this bit. So they are happy right now. More soil might be good. I don't want to overdo it with the rock. I don't want to take the mickey with it. But at the same time... Yeah. Uh, so this big walkthrough that I've got planned then, that's going to not be the case now. So I think what I might do is just build a separate walkway from the um, from the mainland that will come up and join this area and form the, the walkway. So I don't know, maybe have it come, because I would I'd love it if that would have worked. But I suppose what I could do from here is have it come across... And then loop around and maybe just not have an exit on this side which means all of this work i've done here is now pointless but i wouldn't mind having an outside viewing area as well for the gorillas so we could still work on that we'll uh we'll have to revisit that idea if you've got any suggestions in the comments or anything like that feel free okay our gorillas are somewhat happy we'll do a little bit more soil work around this area. I would quite like to see the gorillas actually climbing up these things, but um, it is what it is. Let's put some light soil in as well. And then, yeah, I need to put some trees and rocks in around the rest of this island. And then I think we can start wrapping things up. Which would be awesome. Now, hopefully these have got zookeepers on the way. No. That one has. Well, it's got someone on the way, at least. The ones indoors, they'll get filled when they get filled, I imagine. Can staff get in here? It's actually looking like they can't. That can't be right, though, because one is walking across right now. Oh, an animal died. Who died? Ah, oh, we lost a Nyala. That's that's sad. Got lions about to inbreed as well. Lovely. Yeah, what can you do with that? Yeah, staff can get on here. It's just not updating right now. Shelter. We've got loads of shelter. So they can technically shelter under the path, which is kind of cool. No enrichment. But I'm, I kind of want to use that as a test bed as well. 
for something. Alright, animal trading. I want some more gorillas. So I can't afford them unless we trade some gorillas out. Uh, trade some lion cubs out, which we can do, in fact. I'm tempted to do that. Who have we got? Lion white. Oh, we got a lot of lions here. So let's go with... These are quite old lions. So if we could release these guys to the wild, maybe. Would that get us... Well, get us 274. That is part of what we're doing with this zoo. Is we are working to um, release animals back to the wild as well. You're infertile and elderly. We only got three lions in this one still. You've got no food, which is awful. Okay, any other animals that we could release to the wild? Have we recovered this lemur from the water now? It looks like we have. Good stuff. I don't know what that's doing there, but it exists. That's fine. Um, yeah, animal trading. Fresh the list. So, oh, actually, you're a good one. Yeah, you're a good one. Bring you in. I wish I could afford you. But I can't, sadly. Can afford you, but uh, again, how many... So we could get another male, I think. Are you an alpha? Because we're going to end up with two alphas. But it is what it is. Got lions fighting as well. That's... Yeah, it's a thing. It'll happen. Are the gorillas finding their way inside? Have staff worked out how to find their way onto this island yet? I'm just worried that they're not getting fed. And is it because people, like the staff, can't get on the island? And if they can't, why can't they? I actually think it's this side. See how that's quite a, a lip. We turn the sensitivity down and just do a little push. Maybe that'll do it. Oh, that's a bit too much. What about this side? This side looks fine. It's just they don't seem to be able to get off on this side. This should work. I don't get why this doesn't work. Hello, Lego. I can't give you a huge shout out, I'm afraid. I've not got that influence, but I can say hello. If that counts. The animals can get across here, so why can't the humans? There's our new silverback. Traversable area. But even they're saying can't do it now. But they can do it. Well, they are doing it. So why can't staff get on here? Look, he's walking across the bridge. I don't get it. You, sir, are walking across this bridge. You're refilling the water. So they can do it. They can most definitely get across here. And yet... Yeah, look. You're refilling the water. Where are you going? You're just inspecting. These guys are just stuck on the bridge right now. I think I might need to restart the game for this to actually show up properly. I'll, I'll have a look at that in a bit. Right, so yes. Uh, in terms of the... <clears throat> excuse me. In terms of the walkway idea, maybe if I just had a path that went like down the middle here around this way connected up over here and it kind of formed a loop around the island as well and then we can connect up through the center possibly that might work it's really bugging me that they can't walk along here let's do something to kind of make it 
reboot itself. Like, if I turn off temperate, if we put some, like, thick trees down. Because that's the other thing, is I want to cover, cover this island in trees. Are you still here, Lego? Have you left? I want it to be like you can't see the gorillas from uh, from everywhere. Like you really do have to work to actually see them. So we do a thick set like that. Are these fighting? Yeah, they are. Okay, guys, you've been here five minutes fighting for alpha status. I bet you. Sausage tree there. Smaller one sort of near it. What is that noise as well? Sounds like a trapped cat. Put one of those there too. Any other trees? There's tree ferns. Weeping willow, which would be good for on the water's edge over here. One there. One there. One there. Oh, that, that looks like a good one to go over here. Yeah. I need some smaller trees at the front here so it doesn't block the view. Because right now, this is the only place where you can see gorillas. Again, they can get onto these bits, but they can't... I might reload the game in a second before we wrap things up, just to check that it's not me being stupid. Whether or not there's an actual problem going on here. That looks cool. Anything else that I can add? Oh. Strangler fig tree. Gems box about to die. It's not great. Is that not turning? I suppose it is. You could put one of those there. That looks kind of cool. Maybe one of those there. We could do with some more of these, like, shadowing the temple. Like that. And then another one. Oh, that's a Tyramind. That's the wrong one. Strangler Fig again. There's one. Stick you there. I'm liking this. I'm liking the fact we're kind of burying these gorillas. behind a, like a sea of foliage. I do want to make sure they're not like unhappy though. They that you know they've got a comfortable amount of coverage. Oh yeah, they love cover. Okay. In that case, let's ramp this up to like 11. Would have if I pressed the right buttons. So this side, I think these trees are too big. Maybe we could squeeze one of these ones in, but again, I don't want it to be like completely dwarfed. Like, I don't want it to dwarf everything. Did I put one of those? I did put one of those over there, though. So maybe we can get away with one. Sort of there. Uh, plant isn't from the same environment as the animal. Oh, the ivy. And the bracken. Yeah. And the nettle. I'm going to ignore that for now. Purely on the basis that this is a European zoo, you know. So we are going to get some that don't quite work, as you'd expect. Oh, I should put these ones down. There you go. 
and then another one there like that and then these ones I could put some more of these I think one of my gorillas just got taken to the vet so they still have no enrichment but again <clears throat> I wanted to use this as a, a um, case study to see whether or not it, because uh, I've seen on Reddit before about enrichment where it can stop them being fed. So I wanted to use this as a case study to see if that was true. But we seem to have other problems right now with staff not even being able to get on the island. So we might have to abandon that plan. That doesn't work. What is that meowing noise? I'm hoping it's just the lemurs or something. It's, you know, easily explained. It could just be a guest. It could just be a guest being a douche. Stick one of those there. This keeps the gorillas away from the water's edge as well, which works well with, um, you know, keeping them on the island. Stop any attempted escapes. Yeah. Uh, I don't really know how many more of these to put down. That kind of inter interferes with that tree. This bit I might just leave blank. Go back to coverage for a second. 40% coverage. That's not bad. New animals arriving in the zoo. Right, yeah, let's um let's reload the game. We'll save it as Wild Realms normal. We could always double width the bridge and see if that's part of the problem. And we'll load this one. So I keep forgetting you can actually see me right now. So I've been sat here like scratching my head and all sorts. Ah, oh, I also haven't had a drink for like two hours. Oh, that's better. Also, I'm pretty sure. Let me just check this quickly. Yeah, my brother's got his hands on a PS5. You lucky bastard. Gran Turismo, Tom. Gran Turismo 7. Or, I mean, obviously Horizon. Ratchet and Clank as well. Very nice. Okay, where are we at? What's this? Why is this a disease risk? Oh, there's a freaking dead animal here. Can someone... Guys. How have we got a dead sodding animal? What is going on? Yeah, the whole thing, please. Can we just get a vet in? Oh, man. Every time... Every time I think... Um, we're getting into a good harmony... With this zoo. Something comes along... And, like, completely screws it up. Right. Staff. Traversable. Still no. Is it... Perhaps because of this. Right, is it too close to the uh, to the bridge? I don't get it. I actually don't get it. Why is that not traversable? Also, why is that like really uneven? Is it just because it's Let's move this bridge. Let's also keep this up. I think it's not even showing this part here as being traversable.
I just don't know if this works. I have to build a bridge from scratch. Pause. <clears throat> I mean, it gives me an excuse to build a uh, temple-themed bridge, I suppose. Which is, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. Again, it's just really weird that it doesn't show... doesn't show any of this area here as being traversable, even though it, it most definitely is. Because they are 100% walking on it right now. Okay, there's that. And then wall piece wise, we could go with this style. Or we could just go with uh, these little pieces. Oops, not that one. We could just go with that. Let's see if this works. Could be the barrier needs moving. Because again, it's, it's not showing this section here either. Maybe I move this over? I, I, I really don't know. But this could become a serious problem if my animals can't get fed. So help is what I'm saying here. Help, help, help. Because this is not good. So, what have I got? Stick you there. That's actually pretty good. We'll move you in slightly. Oh, random bloody rotations on, isn't it? Turn that off. There's one there. We want one sort of here, I would say. Yeah, that's pretty clever. Uh, pretty clever. Pretty close. I just haven't got staffed reversible area. Still. They walk in. The thing is, I do see them walking across the damn bridge. So, what's going on? Exit this for a second. Right, select this. Advanced move. Confirm that. And then on this side of things. Are you actually doing any kind of terrain pulling right now? I see you're not on this bit. Why are you not on this bit? Hmm. And even like here. Something isn't right with this. So I think this needs to come down again a little bit. Like that. And there's there's definitely something wrong with this enclosure. Because the staff can't get in. Oh, God. I don't know if I should be doing some quick googling on this or what. But, uh, yeah, something's wrong. Right, pause. Turn the heat map off. Let's move this gate first and see if this is the problem.
Right. Let's move. So we'll build a new staff gate. Like here. Come on, work. Okay, habitat gate. You're going to go there. It should all be... No, it's not. It needs to be renamed. Again, it's not working, is it? It's not working. Why is it not working? Because they're walking in. They're walking in and they're looking at stuff. And then they're leaving. I swear to God, if you walk over that bridge. You are walking over that bridge. Right, I'm removing this. You're actually going in there as well. What the hell? So they can get in here, look. They can actually get in here. I I have no idea what's going on, guys. I think I'm going to have to wrap this stream up, though, because my head is hurting. This is stupid, though. I, I really don't understand this. They are walking in here. They are legitimately walking in here. Except they're not feeding any of our animals. And I can't... What if I put one on this side? It just is obstructed. All the way along. Um, see, that works. But maybe it's something to do with the water as well. I, I genuinely am stumped here. But they can do it. Okay, anyone who's watching this on playback tomorrow, when this goes up as a video, and you've seen the solution to what's going on here, please, please do let me know, because I am really confused right now. Like, super confused as to what's going on here and why it's not working. Because they're clearly walking across it, and yet it says, Donada. can restart the game like proper like exit out restart come back in that's something like that but right now i've been streaming for two and a half hours my head's hurting um none of this makes any sense i i genuinely am so confused right now and uh, not property species i need to give them something where they can eat though because th otherwise they are going to starve and that doesn't feel right either so if I could fit a platform over here. Maybe they can get to this one. Yeah, they can get there. I hope. And then a water bowl there. So this one at least should be fillable. Only six kilograms of food though. That won't take long to go. The only other thing I can think of is maybe it's to do with the uh, to do with the water, in which case I'll empty and refill the lake. In fact, let's just do that now. If I do that for a second, hit H. Nope, nothing to do with the water then. Whoops. I think a load of lemurs just tried to escape. 
This looks really nice. As a as a like location here, this looks really nice. As an island, it looks really pretty. But for some stupid reason, staff can't traverse here. Can I pick up a staff member? But they're, they're, oh, they're moving. Look, they're, they're on the island. And there's water here. And Like, where are you going? You're refilling water. What are you doing? You're refilling water. Why are they not filling food? These are part of the habitat, right? Yeah, Gorilla Island. Huh? <laughs> Literally none of this makes any sense right now. All right, guys. I'm just gonna I'm gonna wrap it up here. I'm gonna do some googling or something like that. I'm gonna find out what's going on. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, yeah, at least they're getting water, but. You know, I would very much like it if they could get food too. Uh, I'm going to turn this into a platform. Like, I'm going to narrow the water here and see if that's part of the problem. But they are walking across the bridge. So, I, I haven't got a clue. But, yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And, of course, if you're enjoying the series, uh, drop those comments down below. Do let me know what I've done wrong because I've clearly done something wrong here. Uh, otherwise, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for your continued support. If you're watching on Twitch, be sure to hit the follow button. Uh, we go live with Planet Zoo every Wednesday, 6 p.m. BST. And yeah, other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Um, I will hopefully be uploading Transport Fever 2 tomorrow. If not, I think it will be Friday and then Friday's video will get pushed to Saturday. But um, more on that if it ends up happening. I'll explain a little bit more about what's happened there as well. But yeah, enjoy the rest of your evenings, guys. And until next time, I will see you soon.